What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. And if you are new to this channel, all right, I'm sure you are probably interested in knowing how we made prison tattoo machines. All right, how did we get our tattoos done in prison? Well, today is your lucky day because I have everything in front of me that I would need to make this machine, and I got it all from Walmart. That's right, good old Walmart has all the prison supplies. But before we get into how to make this thing look, you need to hit that subscribe button. You need to hit it now. All right, because you don't know what you're about to get yourself into. This channel, it's very entertaining, electrifying, as a matter of fact. So hit that subscribe and notification bell. Go check out some of my older videos. And speaking of older videos, okay, this is actually a part two. One of the first videos I made on this channel was a prison tattoo machine, and it blew up, all right? And I made it with the shittiest camera. Uh, you know, all I had was a PS4, a little, a little Sony uh, video camera, and a LED TV. You know, so I didn't have nothing when I started this YouTube channel, but it blew up. And we're going on 400K subscribers now, two years later. And we're about to make this in 4K quality, baby, because we got the gear now. So let's go ahead and start making this machine, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to zoom in so you can get a great picture of how we make our prison tattoo machines. All right, so first things first. And this thing is actually kind of hard to find because it's going on 2020. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a Walkman. Walmart always has... A Walkman. This is a just a basic as Jensen CD player. Okay, this is key because the motor that spins a needle is within this CD player. All right, and it usually comes with like two motors. We're gonna bust it open here in a second. One dead lighter, electrical tape. Okay, and some of this stuff, of course, I didn't use exactly the same stuff in prison. Okay, but they have tape. But I'm using electrical tape, all right? Because we're on the streets. Even though we're making a prison tattoo machine, we can make it as legit as we see fit, all right? Next is a candle, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's right. I got a little birthday candle here. I don't have birthday candles in prison, but uh, I usually have someone just hold hold uh, the lighter or something, you know? But I don't have no one helping me, so I'm going to need a candle to hold that flame. Next is some big pens. That's right, back to school. Easy to find these puppies. <laughs> I got gray, you know, uh, because I'm going to try to make this uh, tattoo machine like a darker color. You know, you don't, you're dealing with ink. So if you're using a bunch of white tape and a white pen, it's going to look really nasty over time with ink touching it. You know, unless you're going to be changing the whole machine every day. Toenail clippers. That's right. Some good old toenail clippers. A pair of scissors. Sharp ones if you can find it. Uh... You can't really see this, but this is like a little piece of a paper clip, all right? And of course, a little piece of fine sandpaper. I mean, you don't need it. There's other ways to sharpen up these needles, uh, but I'd like to use a little piece of sandpaper. And this is the most important, ladies and gentlemen. This is an AC adapter, okay? I got it from Walmart as well. On this adapter, it has different settings, okay? When I was in prison, we tried to find the ones like this because it has different voltages, you know, 3 volt, 4.5 volt, 6 volt, 7.5 volt, and it goes on. You can change it. And that, the voltage is how you change the speed of the needle. But you can do it with a standard, you know, 4.5 volt uh, USB charger. It's up to you. I just like to do it a little more professional with different speeds. Now let's go ahead and bust this thing open and get the most prized possession out of it, okay? We need to get the motor. Bust this thing open. You don't need that. CD player was only 20 bucks too. It wasn't a bad price. All right. So the motor that spins this thing is what we need. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this thing has some Phillips screws in it. And they're kind of tiny. So you're going to need to improvise if you don't have a little small uh, Phillips head screwdriver. I'm just using these damn scissors. There we go. We're just going to bust this puppy wide open, ladies and gentlemen. We've got time to do that. All right. There's the gold right there. There's the gold. All right, so we got a, a waffle motor. In prison, this is what you call a waffle motor, and this is what they call a Jolly Rancher. I'm not sure which one I want to make it out of yet. I think we're going to roll with the Jolly Rancher this time. Okay, it's a lot quieter. It's smaller. The waffle's good, too, though. You're gonna to wanna to be very delicate with this little motor. 
you don't want to chop off any of the wires cut any of the wires you want it as long as possible and there you have it ladies and gentlemen this is a jolly rancher motor uh the cords can be either positive or negative it doesn't matter how you hook it up but it usually comes with this little white thing on the end uh you're gonna want to remove this now before we used a motor in prison and got it all set up we would test the motor first okay and i'm gonna do that with this ac adapter well first i gotta clean off some of this cord god my thumbs used to be burnt up in prison from doing all this burning with the wires every day i was burning something <laughs> And now we're just going to twist each end to uh, the spliced adapter cord. Spliced, for the people that don't know, is just cut the cord open and split it in half. Positive, positive, negative, negative. Now, I'm going to plug this puppy in and I'm going to turn it on at 7.5 volts. Just as, That's the highest I usually run the speed at. So if it's going to work, it needs to work on that uh, speed. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is definitely working. All right, so that's a good thing. Now, next, this is a very important part, is the lighter. And people ask, how did we get lighters in prison? Look, people got cell phones. People are, you know, they, they can get what they need to get. But when I was in prison, they sold lighters. But when they stopped uh, selling lighters, I could still get my hands on either a guitar string or a lighter uh, to use the needle for. But that's what we're going to be getting out of here, the spring and also a piece of plastic that is very important to this prison machine. Pop this puppy right off. Nothing major. Get this little child safety lock out of here. And you know, everything in prison would be reused. Like this is like a perfect flathead screwdriver, okay, in prison. This is perfect. You can shape it to however size you want. We would reuse everything, all right? so. Next is the spring. The spring sits underneath of this little wheel. And this plastic thing on the side, we're gonna need this, okay? Let's go ahead and pop this out. Be careful. There's the spring. That's our needle. Now let's go ahead and cut this off right here because this is gonna be our offset, believe it or not. The offset is what the needle is hooked up to and spins on, all right? And the reason why I use this thing is because on the lighter, it already has a pre-made hole for the offset, okay? The, the offset, I guess, this little knob right here on the motor, see how it's a small little bar? Well, the hole typically fits right onto it. Boom, see that? And the needle goes onto the offset and this spins the whole thing. Now, you see how this went on and it's a little loose and went straight down? Uh, you don't want it loose. You need it tight. You need that money nice and tight, ladies and gentlemen. So you can easily mold the hole to the size that you need for it to be nice and snug just by melting it a little bit and smearing the plastic down. Very simple. And then you pop it back on, boom. Good to go now. And look, it doesn't slide down no more up and down it's nice and snug all i had to do was melt a little bit on the side and boom it's good to go okay so now we have the offset and it goes onto this now we have to put the paper clip onto the offset and how do you get this onto this and make it nice and tight and snug i'm gonna show you right now we got to improvise though we got to improvise ladies and gentlemen always improvise i got this damn birthday candle okay i'm gonna try to just jam it up in here somewhere so that it kind of holds it up for me. I ain't got to worry about no nonsense. Improvising. Now, in prison, you would have someone hold the flame for you, you know, and while you do all the work. But I don't have no friends out here in the streets. All I have is YouTube friends. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is what you're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna get your toenail clippers and you're gonna hold that little piece of paper clip nice and tight. And then you're gonna get your little offset piece, set it to the side right here and let it be ready to go when you need it. Put this underneath the flame until it turns 
nice and high. There's other easier ways to do this. Some people use buttons, but uh, you know, this is the way I did it and this is the way I'll keep on doing it. It's always worked for me, never had any problems. Tatted up some official cats, some uh, shot colors that probably if I messed up, would have ended bad. All right, so, all right, let's put it in. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. See? It's connected to it, but the, it's right next to the hole. That's gonna be sliding onto this. Okay, if that makes sense. But it's connected, and it's melted in there. Pop this onto the uh, motor. And there you go. That's the offset. Put the needle on this, and this will spin it. Now I'm going to take it off and trim some of this extra plastic off the side, like right here, that could possibly weigh down the needle. And you know, I'm making this whole thing because I'm about to do some tattoos, ladies and gentlemen, so be ready for that. Now, we got the flame still going. It's time to make our needle. This is the spring that came from the lighter. The flame helps to stretch out the needle. See that? Don't want to hold it in the same position for too long because if you do, that's what happens. It rips apart. Ripped apart on me. I don't know if you can tell. Now, now the length of the needle is all up to you. You can always adjust the barrel to the length of the needle. Some people make the barrel first uh, and then the needle so that they know the proper size, but I do the needle first and then adjust it as I need to. If you need to shorten the needle, you just clip it with toenail clippers. But the key to these needles, I mean, they're springs, okay? So you gotta make sure that they're sharp. If they're not sharp, then you gotta sharpen it. And the best way to test that is to see if it'll poke through a latex glove without making any kind of popping sounds. That's how you know it's sharp. It goes straight through the latex glove. Now what you do is you take the needle and you measure it up next to the barrel of this to get the length right. Let's go ahead and cut it. I can do it to the length that I feel is comfortable. So about right here would be best. Depending on your grip, you know. You're gonna wanna take the ink out of the tip of this pen. Now that we got the ink out of the pen, we're gonna cut the little ball. There's a little tiny ball inside the tip of this pen. We're gonna clip it out with toenail clippers just ever so slightly and now the ball is out and uh we clean the ink out of this you can clean it out however which way you want now we go ahead and just pop this back in to the pin and it looks like the pin that we began with except there's no ink cartridge and it's cut in half something needs to hold this and the motor in place all right so what we did was i did i use these things hold on yeah the tops of the pin itself, okay? That's the little top of the pin, I cut it in half. Now the barrel goes through the top of the pin top that we cut in half, all right? Now, you got to uh, take it off, melt this thing down just a little bit until it folds over, see that? folded right over and boom you got a pin the tattoo barrel and this is what the motor sits on okay so I got plenty of room here to do as I please with the machine now let's put the machine on top of this pin top all right so we got the uh, motor we got the little Jolly Rancher motor here and what we're gonna do is uh, what we did in there was put a little piece of tape on top you don't want it hanging over on the offset side. If you have any excess tape hanging over, it'd be on the wire side. Now we get this pin. We're gonna strap it on like the feds. And there you have it. We're gonna reinforce it a little bit better with a few more pieces of uh, electrical tape. But that's pretty much it, you know. We're about to strap on the needle. And it's good to go. All right, so you might be asking how I got the needle onto this little bar. All you gotta do is twist it on and then clip, clip the extra of the uh, lighter spring right here. 
just clip it with the toenail clippers. Just twist it on and boom, it pops right on and off. Now as you can see, the needle's going through the barrel, coming out through the tip, okay? Now you just kind of push it back on, boom. Pop this puppy onto here. Gotta get that offset. The needle, I don't know if you can even tell, but the needle is sticking out. And I got a little piece of eraser at the end of the offset to make sure the needle doesn't flop off. Okay, that's key too. Now let's hook this puppy up to see if it runs. I hope you enjoyed though, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Look at this. It runs upside down and everything. Beast. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, how to make a prison tattoo machine. Okay, two years later, a little bit better of equipment. Hopefully the video came out better than the first one. I don't know, it's hard to top that first episode. Uh, first prison tattoo machine episode. I had a lot of passion put into that video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the links in the description of the video. Add me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. And as always, I salute to every last one of you who've been supporting me since the beginning and everyone who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free so you can buy a professional tattoo machine. You ain't gonna use this shit.